it's all dirt. Take them to the sea. What are you YouTube man? Welcome back to the channel, you guys, man. This video I'm gonna be showing you guys the reason why you need to deep clean your seats, especially if the car is five years old, and especially if you have cloth seats. Now I know a lot of people don't do this. They wonder why they got an odor. They wonder why they have a funny smell. It's because maybe the person spilled drinks, smoked in the car, stuff like that. This is why I don't like people smoking in my car. But but head out to Home Depot, get a tool to remove the seat. Then we're gonna head to Walmart and get an extractor. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, you know what I'm saying? If you buy a used car, man, do this to your car, man. It's gonna smell a lot better. It's gonna feel a whole lot cleaner. As you guys can see, it's raining. <sighs> Every time that I wanna do some work, it decides to rain. But we need the rain in Arizona. We need it. So if you guys don't know, this is the charger right here. A lot of people are gonna probably ask me, why don't you just change the interior? Well, that's gonna be the last thing I do. One, cost money. Two, um, I told you guys what I'm doing. I'm doing a motor swap right now. The seats are gonna be the last thing, but I still don't wanna have that. It, 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 it's, it's like a weird smell, like different combinations. But um, yes, yeah, I yeah. You guys gonna see when you see these seats, especially like I can feel it. I can definitely feel it and I can definitely see stains. I'm gonna show you guys a stain. So as you can see right there, there's a stain right here. Um, th there's, a, there's a few stains, but I can, I can feel the texture of it. it. It feels dirty. And the only reason why I know this is because I do a lot of cleaning, especially in my Honda. I always clean my seats so I know when it's dirty, but you guys gonna see how black and dirty these seats are, man. It's gonna, it's gonna blow your mind. That's what I'm saying. Anytime you guys buy a used car, sometimes they don't clean it or whatever, because you know I just I just got the car. But they don't clean it. Okay? They don't never deep clean it. But you know, spend invest in a little extractor, you know what I'm saying, and deep clean your seats, take your time, whatever, you're gonna appreciate your car a whole lot more. <sighs> Alright you guys, right now I'm at Home Depot. About to go ahead and get the tools. Yeah, I'm going to hit a Walmart. Let's figure out which aisle. More than likely it's going to be in sockets. But pretty much, they don't have the star socket, which is pretty much only online. Because I literally looked everywhere for it. But more than likely, I'm probably just going to use a 3.8 socket and uh, take off the two. You're gonna see once I do the, um, start removing the seat, but yeah, they don't got it. So we're gonna see if this works. If it doesn't, gonna have to wait. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention to you guys, make sure you get a, um, well, if you have a drill, try to get you like a drill brush, which is like, you know, 1097. We'll try to get you like a drill brush. So that way you can uh, hook it up to the drill and scrub the seats easier. So pretty much I use this method because it's more easier and you don't gotta keep using your hand going back and forth. So make sure you get one of these. So this is the one I got, it's the Hoover. Basically this is a good one. Um, I might just go ahead and keep this one. But you know, it's a one-time investment you guys. Be able to maintain your car, keep it clean, all of that. And that's why I want a lot of people to understand is you can vacuum your car all day long, but if you're not shampooing it, you're not actually deep cleaning it, your car is not really clean. You're just vacuuming loose debris. That's about it.
So as you guys can see, this all came from the seat. I'll let you guys see what it looks like. It's all dirt taken into the seat, literally. So as I was mentioning, that's why it's good to get your car detailed and clean because it's a 2015, so do the math, that's a lot of years. And I'm pretty sure I was the first person who actually cleaned that car. So just imagine that's just one pass. I'm gonna go over it again, like I said. Now I'm about to do the back seat, the rear seat, which I'm gonna show you guys real quick. And pretty much I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like before and what it looks like after, all right? guys can see it's a finished product now that stain won't come up but I just want these seats really clean you know what I'm saying that way the car smells better at the end of the day this is still gonna be leather put in this vehicle but in the time being at least it's clean so here's the aftermath from that one then see. All right, you guys, so I got all the seats in. I went ahead and uh, cleaned the interior. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looked. All right. So, <clears throat> it looks better, smells better. It smells better as you guys can see. That stain that I was talking about, I actually got it up. I went over it like about six times then I used, uh, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the, the thing I use. I'm gonna put it in the video. <clears throat> but yeah, pretty much I went ahead and detailed it, cleaned it, all that. So pretty much, yeah, man, that's, I'm gonna be doing slightly upgrades, underglow, um, <clears throat> uh, what else? Uh, suspension, I'm looking for a good suspension kit. Um, I am going to install the Brembo's. I'm probably going to install the Brembo brakes before I get the motor. But if you guys want, like I said, make sure you guys stay tuned. Look at the small updates that I'm going to do. So when I do get the motor, just got to drop it. Well, pull this motor out and just drop it in and it's good to go. All right. But, um, I appreciate you guys love and support and you know, you guys want to see this build, man. Stay tuned, man. I'm going to be dedicated and show you guys the full, the full transformation, man. Make sure you go subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you subscribe, show love, man. So pretty much, this is how it look. Get used to how this charger looks because it's not gonna look the same no more. Once I'm done with it, it's gonna have a whole new motor, whole new everything, man. You just keep, get a good look at it because it ain't gonna look like this no more. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Appreciate you guys, I love you. I appreciate your support. Make sure you comment, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.